If you're looking for a new map to play on, this might be the one. Hey, uh, what's going on everybody? DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today we've only got three mods for you. For all platforms we have one new and for PC and Mac we have one new and one update. Let's check them out. Starting off today with new mod for all platforms, we have Jadoba Farm from DH Modding. This is a Brazilian map based in the municipality of Goiás. We got 29 large and medium sized fields. Uh, they're basically large fields. They've all got missions and they're relatively rugged. So as you can see, we've got quite some undulating terrain, no square fields, at least that I've been able to see. And it's going to give you a challenge for sure. It's got all the standard stuff you would expect. So you've got normal crops, you've got normal everything. So <laughs> nothing too crazy or different about this. Uh, it would be very easy to jump in and just get playing. One thing I will say is the outside of the map uh, is a little bit low poly i think is the the word to be used there your main farm's going to be right here actually this is all you get right here this is it so let's check it out let's take a look at the pda boom here it is well we're right over field 18 right now actually are we yeah we are <laughs> flying i forgot about that we get field 23 which is right here near the top middle of the map and that's it nothing else with it you got soybeans in there and they are growing which is a good crop to start with and then you've got your sheep your pigs and your chickens all right here at the main farm so as far as that goes what do you get well you got your new holland t5 your puma 185 k7210 you do have two combines which is great to see on a map like this get work done twice as fast you got your pickup you got your tipper a couple headers corn header nice to have that as well plow cedar a uh, planter, Ooh, get a planter as well then. Very nice there. The Hardy Mega, love getting that. You've got fertilizer spreader, the water tanker, so you can take care of the water for your animals, front loaders, weights, and then you have your enclosures. Of course, your farmhouse. So you've got all of that there. And if we take a look around, we can see our main farm area where everything is located. Not too bad, nice layout, nice and easy. Again, very easy to maneuver around this for players who maybe don't play a lot of mod maps, stuff like that. Definitely worth giving a try. As far as the main PDA overall, like I said, there's no square fields. There are some fields that have like some squared off edges. For example, you could probably hire a worker back and forth like this and be okay because eventually they will be fine. Just run you two or three headlands around that map or that uh, field and you'll be fine. Of course, down here, you've got one straight edge here. You got some straight edges through there. So definitely if I were you guys and I'm buying new fields, I would find ones with straight edges because it's a little bit of a bigger map. It's still normal, two X, uh, so two kilometers by two kilometers, but if it plays like a 4x map for sure if you're on console this is going to take up a total of 623 slots however if we go through and sell everything it's not going to be that bad so 340 slots overall that are used with just the map alone not too awful and plus you get eight hundred twenty-four thousand dollars if you're a new farmer as well making our way into mods for pc and mac players today we have headland management this is pretty cool so this is available for tractors field sprayers mowers and harvesters it's not available on anything else to so make sure you're using one of those if we go in and take a look we'll just jump into small tractors here you can see on the bottom left we have headland management yes or no with this the functions of the vehicles can be confined and activated together at the touch of a button to simply turn maneuvers when working in the field so all functions are activated and deactivated individually for each vehicle via gui to achieve the ideal and or adaption work being carried out so uh yeah i want one of these so i think i'm gonna go with something a little bit different today let's go with john deere 6m right here find my headland management boom what do you mean i don't have enough money get out of here yeah i would love that thank you very much kaboom in order to use this you have to have the headland management enabled when you guys are in the game you could do with left shift x you can see down at the right hand side we got a little ilm that's popping up with of course your numbers showing up there and you activate it by control shift and then the x button there as well 
So in here, we got a couple different things. We have reduced speed functions, raise up and lowering the implements, um, turning the plow, single stage or two stage via the center position, raise and change ridge markers, designate and re-engage the power takeoffs of PTOs and hydraulics, and beep when headland management is activated. So you can see through here, we're speed control settings on and off. You could do different things working speed in the headland area you've got multiple different speeds through here i assume these are going to be kilometers per hour probably not miles per hour yeah going all the way up to 40 i assume and then uh speed control level in the headlands i don't actually know how to cut that on yeah, anyway audible alert you could turn that on and off lift the implements of course you probably want to do that uh turn your plow do you want that to happen sure why not stop the pto and hydraulics on the device hey maybe you want to do that change your ridge marker stop the gps steering and then used gps mod uh well i don't have it turned on so it's not really gonna do anything here they do have some ideas for later versions of this mod as well like work steps being adjustable and selectable time interval between individual working steps which is really really cool they've got their github link if you go on the uh, online mod hub go to headland management mod is one of the newest ones and then go down to the bottom of their description and it'll be right there for you. And your only other mod today is gonna to be a mod update to the Modern Cal Stable for PC and Mac players. This is gonna be version 1.2 new north german textures okie dokie and then you've got decoration quality and texture size has been reduced to save on the poly count well guys that is going to be it for today's new mod video i know there's really not a whole lot going on right now we are kind of getting near the end of the life cycle for farm sim 19 as far as mods are concerned because farm sim 22 is just around the corner so mods are definitely going to be slowing down regardless i'll be bringing you guys daily mod videos when they release so you know what's going on regardless hope you enjoyed this one did drop a like get subscribed if you're new, join the GoHam fam. Make sure your notifications are on so that you never miss anything here on the channel. Hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you later. Peace.